Hello and welcome to another TLC tutoring accounting video. In this lesson, we're going to be going over how to journalize stock issuances. So if you are just now starting to learn how to journalize these stock issuances, you most likely just started learning about corporations. Now, when you're thinking about the issuance of stock, keep in mind that this is the corporation giving out, uh, giving out ownership of their company to the public. So let's take a look at this first one and we'll see how we would journalize something like this. So on January 14th, 2021, Ruby Incorporated issued 1,000 shares of $2 par common stock at $5 per share. Now, um, one thing that we might tell you as an instructor when you are brand new to stock issuance is that when you're hearing issuance, almost think of it like a sale. It's not quite a sale because it's not the sale of goods. It's the sale of um, ownership within a company. But keep in mind, you are giving up the stock in exchange for cash or some other type of asset or service. So for this first one, we have the date of January 14th. And in our case, let's start analyzing it to pick out what accounts are being affected here. So uh, let's start with the common stock. So we know that the company is giving out common stock. And if we analyze our rules, we can kind of figure out if that's going to be a debit or a credit. So if you remember from your lesson, common stock, which is ownership within the corporation, that is a capital account. And if we are issuing those shares, then that would be the ownership within the company increasing. And if we take a look at our little debit and credit rules, capital, increases with a credit. So we're going to start by crediting common stock. Now before we start getting into the amounts, let's keep on with the accounts. Um, now in exchange for this common stock, we are receiving $5, which would be cash. Now keep in mind cash is an asset. It is increasing, so we have to debit cash. Now dealing with the amounts, uh, we see that we're issuing 1,000 shares and we're issuing it for $5 per share. So the amount of cash we're receiving is $5,000. Now one of the most important rules for issuing stock is to remember that stock is valued at par. So common stock and preferred stock, we value those at par. And remember par at this point, just think of it as an arbitrary amount that's just simply assigned to the stock. So this $2 per share par times the 1,000 shares means that we're going to credit common stock for $2,000. Now, obviously, you should remember your rules about debits having to equal credits. So we're going to need an additional 3,000 credit. And the account that we're going to use to plug that is going to be paid in capital in excess of par dash common stock. So now our debits equal our credits, our debits are coming first, and uh, we do have everything kind of lined up here. Uh, let's take a look at B so that you can kind of practice this in another scenario. So we have Ruby Incorporated that is issuing 100 shares of $10 par 2% cumulative stock for $1,700. All right, so in this case, it's the same kind of scenario. Uh, they're telling us that we're issuing stock in exchange for cash. So we are receiving cash of $1,700. Cash is an asset, it's going up, so we debit cash to make it go up. And this time they're giving us a total rather than a per share amount. Now preferred stock is what we are issuing. So the ownership, the preferred stock is increasing and to increase a capital account, we are going to credit preferred stock. And just like common stock, we're going to have to value this preferred stock at par. So 100 shares at $10 per share, $1,000. And then you see that we are short by $700. So it is going to be a 700 credit. And that means our plug account is going to be paid in capital in excess of par dash preferred stock. Now, whenever we're issuing stock, it doesn't always have to be for cash. Uh, take this example here. 
On April 30th, 2021, Ruby Incorporated issued 5,000 shares of $2 par common stock in exchange for land with a fair value of 26,000. So we're essentially giving away ownership of our company or this corporation uh, in exchange for some land. So let's focus on the land first, what we're receiving. So the company's land is increasing. As you should know, land is an asset. So to increase an asset, we debit. So essentially in this case where we normally would have gone ahead and uh, debited cash, we're not receiving cash, we're actually receiving land. Now when we receive the land, since it does give us the fair value, we will be using the fair value of the land. Now for the common stock that's being issue issued, same as before, we're going to value that common stock at par. So do $2 par at 5,000 shares, that'll give us a $10,000 credit to common stock. And just like before, we simply have to plug to make it equal. And that plug account will be paid in capital in excess of par dash common stock. Okay. So there's a quick video going over journalizing stock issuances. Uh, please keep in mind, while stock issuances may seem a little bit like sales, they are not sales of uh, investments or anything like that. It is literally a, a sale of ownership to this company. And it is very different from the buying and selling that you would see out on the, um, on the actual stock market. So it is a little bit of a different scenario. So in the meantime, keep practicing those stock issuances. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And in the meantime, and until next time, happy studying.